Mississippi. Mississippi, that's what I'm saying they called. Oh, you did that on purpose. Good for you, yeah. Ed. You're, you're, you're red hot tonight. You know, you're on it, as they say. Well, that's what they, what you got to do. And yeah, and I got, I got another treat for you here in the upcoming weeks. Really? Okay, good. Or you're not going to tell me what it is now? It's just going to be a surprise. No, I'm going to tell you. Okay. You got some guy talking about he can predict games. I, I predict them just as good as he does. Oh, yeah. We have uh, every week here, we have from uh, AccuScore.com, we have Zach Rosenfield. Yeah, I've noticed on the message board that uh, that you think you're better at picking games than he is. Yeah, I got a system, too, and mine's better. Really? I'm only three games behind him after three days. Well, that's not but so both bad. both of us under 500. That's terrible. Yeah, that's not very good. So uh, that's all right. I'm about to go on a hot streak tonight. Well, what, 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 what? So what's the surprise, though? So you and uh, the guy from I'm going to beat him. Well, that's okay. All right, that's good. That's what I'm supposed to be on the lookout for. Of course. Okay, I'll I'll be on the lookout for that. Yeah, hey, we listen. Should, we should well, get you two kids together. We should get you on the line. Give me that Erica girl's phone number. I don't want to do that. No, I, 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 well, because first of all, I don't have it. Do you have Facebook though, the Ed? Huh? Facebook. What's that? It's a the thing that uh, helps people get in touch with one another online. Uh, I need to get I need to get something. Yeah. I want to get a website. Oh, that'd How be a great. Idea. You'll make me one. Well, I'm not. That's not my area of expertise. But yeah, it'd be know, great if you had a website. It. I'd love. You know what, the Ed? I would love to create a little space for you on the Damashek homepage, and you could just write your thoughts every week. I think people would love to hear that. Would love to see that sort of thing from you. Would you do that for us? I don't know. If you tell me to do it, I'll do it. I mean, yeah. I, I listen. You know, I'm telling I, you to I, do it. I, then. I do a lot of stuff. You know, I jump around and talk and yeah, everything. <laughs> that is a lot of stuff. What uh, What about uh, and quickly, and then I'll let you go. So, big plans for the Christmas holiday? Are, are all the sons coming to town? And uh, you have a girl, a special girl that's coming over uh, for the holidays? I'm hoping. I'm hoping this girl sticks around. Mm-hmm. I met a girl. She's a nice one. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Yep. Yep, she's a she's a good looking one. She's oh. this one's thirty four. Wow, the Ed, you continue to amaze. Fifty five years of age and dating women twenty years your junior. Yeah, she's a good looking thing. Good, good for you. And she's yep. from and Vegas. Then, uh, where'd you meet her? In Las Vegas. Yeah, but, but, but how, where'd you meet her though? At the grocery store. Well, not really the grocery store. It's a store called Walmart. I've heard of it. Yeah. So well. Yeah. What happened? So so you're. I'll, let me be the girl. What's her name? Why are you trying to always get in there and try to take my girls? I'm not, no, 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 no. It's not about that. I just want to lay the scene because I think there's a lot to be learned from you. Obviously, your oh, guy. Oh, name Lisa. You're in your you're in your mid fifties and you're picking up women in their thirties and even younger sometimes. So let's uh, do that. So I'm Lisa. Her name's Lisa. Okay, let's say I'm Lisa in the grocery store. Do do do. I'm looking at cantaloupes. I'm looking for. Uh, for I'm looking for. Hey there. Hey. Uh, what your name is? Hi, I'm Lisa. Yeah, all right. Well, that's good. I mean, you you kind of good looking. Uh, let me well, look at your hands. Thank real you. Quick. You you're in. Uh, excuse me. I I would rather you not touch me, please. Well, listen, excuse. I got to see your hands first. Before no, I, I don't go out. I don't think you need to touch my hands. Thank you. Well, I don't know why you're saying something like that. Because listen, I can probably be your boyfriend. Or well, we can so probably go out and do some stuff. Well, you're you're old enough to be my father. How do you, you haven't even seen my identification tag, so well, you don't even know. Excuse me, sir. I think it's best. I just, I, 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 I'm meeting some people. I should really, I should really skedaddle. All right, listen. If I can pull a quarter out your ear, will you go out with me? Well, I don't know what. Uh, I guess. Well, I would love to see that. Blah blah blah. Look, uh, there's a quarter. You got to go out with me. It's over. Oh. What's your phone number? Oh, you, you have a certain charm. I'll give you that. That's right. What's your phone number? Bring it off. I, I, well, I don't know. I usually don't give my phone number to strange men. I'm not strange. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. Will, will we go somewhere nice? Listen, give me your phone number and stop fooling around. Because listen, I got to go somewhere in a minute, and I got and you hold me up. I see. So I see. So ultimately, yeah, you just play that like I, I I'm a busy man. I'm, I'm an important person. And then they just Sometimes feel lucky. I tell them I got meetings to go to. I, oh, that's good. That's a nice one. You know, they got like 30-some Walmarts here in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. I go to all of them because I'd be collecting these football men. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of them. 
That's what you do with your time. Well, you said you're busy, but yeah, I wouldn't. So you don't lead with that, though. You you just I got meetings, I've got places to be, and the one, women just swoon. Ooh, the Ed apparently is an important man. I tell you, I got two thirty-two inch color TVs for free. How'd you do that? Well, I got a friend named Franklin. Right, I know Franklin. He, he got a job around. over at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. It's a chicken wing joint. I've uh, I've eaten there before. Yes. Yeah, have you got the one he works at? He never told me you came in there. No, no, no. I just have been to one of those. Before. He said, uh, well, they was remodeling, and uh, they decided that they'd given away the TVs, that the old TVs. Sure. Franklin calls me up and says, hey, Ed, he goes, uh, I need you to come get me because uh, they gave me a free TV. So I drove my new car up there, picked him up, put the TV in the back, and the guy said, hey, you want one too? I said, yep. So... Got home, swindled uh, Franklin out of his TV, so I got two of them now. <laughs> Your friend who gets you a TV, you swindle him out of his? Yeah, he wanted some T-shirts and some beer. Uh-huh, and that was worth it. Because he didn't get a paycheck, because he, he gets his first paycheck Friday. Mm-hmm. I said, well, listen, I'll trade you this for this. And he mm-hmm. said, okay. And I gave him a little bitty TV to put in his room. That seems like you got you... about a twenty-inch TV in his room. I got two thirty-two-inch TVs now because I'm making a sports book room up in one of my rooms in the house. Neat. Well, it sounds neat. I, I have to say, though, just objectively, it sounds like you're taking advantage of your friend, and that's not especially in the Christmas spirit. And, it's not uh... taking advantage if you're on the good end of it. Ah, all right. Well, that's a that's a powerful message to send out to the world uh, with Christmas a few days away. All right, Dad. Listen. Oh, wait a what, what am I getting from you for Christmas? Uh, nothing. I just placed a call to you to say season's greetings. Have a good one with uh, with your family. You're not going to get me nothing for Christmas? No. If you win the college football mania contest, then you'll get some nice prizes. Yeah. You're going to have to take your present back. Oh, you got me something. All right, I'll go get you something, and we'll we'll figure it out. The I ad- got you the same thing I got you last year. Which is what? Nothing. <laughs> All right, the ad. Terrific. I'm going to wrap up empty box and mail it right to you. I don't think that's funny, and uh, and uh, anyway, I don't I, I don't understand why you would uh, try to hurt my feelings in the season of giving like this and everything. But uh, all right, listen. Still, Wait, tell me you're going to call me next week, and I'll keep holding on, acting like you're going to call. I'm not going to call you next week. I'm 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 taking off. I'm I'm flying off to Western Pennsylvania to uh, to celebrate oh, the holiday with my family. Oh, okay. But then I'll talk wife, to you next your week. Your wife's going to have another baby, right? That's right. And then we're going to... I wonder and, if she'll have it over the holiday. I bet she no, does. No, I hope not. She it needs a few more months yet before the baby comes out. But we'll talk to you. Months, how many months is she? I don't think that's your business, really. We don't need to talk about uh, about where my wife is in her pregnancy. All right, listen. Uh, I can't know. She's seven months, six, seven months along. All right, well, man, you act like that was something private information. I don't know. I'm trying to get off the phone with you, Ed, and you're you're hassling me now about information that you can't possibly need. Why would I not need to know? Why would you need to know that? You don't know me. Why would you then need to know how far along my wife is? It's ridiculous. Well, I need to make sure it's yours. Well, guess what? That's the end of it. But trust me, we're we're square on that front. And uh, I will get you on the, the Murray show. We'll make sure that these kids are yours because you're popping out too many. I don't need to go on Maury Povich's show. I already – and two I don't think is too many. All right, listen. Thank you for the consultation, the ad. Have a Merry Christmas, and we will talk to you the week after Christmas. We'll get your thoughts on the big games coming up uh, because we'll have a lot of bowl games. The playoff picture will be uh, will be just about clarified, and uh, so we'll, we'll get your thoughts on all that. In the meantime, like I say, best to you and to yours and to Lisa. All right. See, look, you talk about my girl, but you I can't talk about yours. All See, right. man, that ain't never fair. You just always be doing some just unruly stuff. Merry Christmas, the Ed. All right. Well, listen, you have a good Christmas. Don't be letting off fireworks and stuff. I won't. Just make sure that you do the right thing on it. I, I would never let off fireworks on Christmas. But all right. Thank you for the idea.